Hi Mission Family, I hope this video finds you well. I have the privilege of bringing you a devotional today. I picked up a book a long time ago, it's called The Weekly Prayer Project and it's one of my favorites. It's got lots of options to journal and pray through, whether it be Thanksgiving, praise, grief, lament, forgiveness. Um, but today I, I actually just opened it up to one of the ones I've done many, many times and it's a prayer of gratitude. I'm going to read this little excerpt for you. It says, we live in a shaky kingdom. There are bad guys and sinkholes and real life and natural disasters called fire nados, which are exactly what you think they are. Because we live in this often volatile, always unpredictable world, we tend to focus on the earthquakes and the broken relationships and the mayonnaise drenched sandwich we specifically and emphatically ordered with no mayonnaise. The thing is, this kingdom is full of unexpected pain and unwelcome condiments is not our home, and it's not forever. Hebrews 12, 28, 9, 28, 29 says, Since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful, and so worship God acceptable with reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. We can be with people who are overflowing, excuse me, we can be people who are overflowing with gratitude, even amid crummy circumstances like COVID because our hope and joy don't depend on smooth sailing and sandwiches made to order. When you pray, thank God for giving you everything you need and everything that matters. James 1, 2 through 4 tells us to consider it pure joy when we go through hard things because we know that God uses them for good. As God's child, you are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Whether you are stuck in the belly of a whale, a dead-end job, a painful marriage, a difficult diagnosis, or COVID-19, you can be thankful. So I just wanna take a minute and share with you what I'm thankful for. Um, we are living in California in a condo where all my children and my husband are under one roof together. And we are so grateful despite being cramped many days. But I'm thankful we're home, we're safe, we're together. I am thankful for an incredible team that I get to work with. I get to do um, lead worship every week. It's one of my favorite things um, to do in life. And I'm so grateful for a team that works hard, they're talented, and they go above and beyond what I ask them. I'm grateful for a church body that has walked us through this COVID-19 situation with such care. Um, they've, we've reached, not only our staff has reached out to people around us, but I know that many have given within their community how to be feet and hands of Jesus. And I'm just so thankful for those things today. I wanna know what you're thankful for, so feel free to write those in the comments and we would love to hear what you are thankful for today. If this is something that's encouraging to you or you want to encourage a friend, feel free to share it. This is just a moment that our church staff wants to take and share with you a note of encouragement. We love you and we hope to see you soon.